Hello and welcome comrade! I'm Gerard and this is tutorial 16 for workers and resources Soviet Republic. Very important topic for today. Electricity and fuel. If you want to check the previous tutorials, the link with the playlist is in the description of the video. Build a substation. Substations are used to deliver electricity directly to nearby buildings. So without substations, nothing works, guys. I remember that was a big, big, big problem when I first played the game. Excellent! Lenin would be proud. Connect the substation to a foreign power connection. So we are going to use... There's so many things about electricity here. So you have power plants. They obviously produce electricity. You have coal, solar. Oh, that's so cool. And wind is here with solar. <laughs> Single reactor nuclear plant cooling towers. Super cool. I, I honestly would have wished to see more like a gas. But there is no gas. Maybe gas can work with fuel. But whatever, you know, maybe you can find workshop items for that. And then we have uh, medium voltage, high voltage and conversion buildings. So, for example, today we have to start with the medium voltage. You have 150, sorry, you have 065, 150, 1.2 and 2.35 medium voltage wires. Ah, you have different ones as well here, apparently. Oh, they have changed things a lot. But basically you have a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's connect. To where? Can we move the... Uh-huh. Okay, so this here is... Good job. This here is... um Customs for electricity, where you can sell or buy electricity. And what you're usually going to do is sell. Okay, let's import. 0.41 per megawatt hour, max amount of wattage per energy purchase, 1.8. So our voltage is 90 kilovolts and our wattage is 0 0.3 megawatts. Oh wow, we are going to import even more. I guess we're going to import to the max. No, 80%. Okay, and now that we have electricity, everything is working. Build a power plant. Similar to substations, power plants deliver electricity to nearby buildings. However, their main purpose is to generate electricity and deliver it across large distances. So, power plants can supply electricity to local buildings, but of course you can connect multiple connections to them and uh, either export electricity or use it in different uh, places of your republic connect the power plant to a road so that workers can enter it yeah and of course you need a bunch of workers to do that in the coal power plant someone have to shovel the coal you know you're doing great comrade they're pretty big buildings these things hey let me check something uh Ah, there is a gas power plant, actually. <laughs> My bad, sorry. Uh, then what I would love to see is uh, different sizes of these things, right? Smaller coal power plant, for example, or something like that. Which you can definitely find in the workshop. Use a conveyor to connect the power plant with an aggregate storage. Coal power plants need coal to work. However, coal mines and coal processing plants require electricity to work. For this reason, you may need to import electricity to start your power plant, or you could, or you could purchase some coal. So yeah, um, in a super realistic mode, you will have to import some electricity for for you to be able to mine your coal, unless you want to buy it. Building our conveyor, good job. So now the aggregate storage. The small aggregate storage here, which is connected to the coal processing plant, which is connected to the coal mine. So the coal mine produces the coal. We have a connection here to the coal processing plant, which takes the ore and produces coal. The coal is stored in the aggregate storage, and from the storage we are sending it directly to the 
power plant. Build a high voltage switch. So now we're going to do what I spoke about earlier. We're going to probably export this. Okay, let's put this high voltage switch first here. Lenin would be proud. Build a power transformer. Transformers are used to change high voltage inputs to low voltage inputs. While some factories will require high voltage inputs, most buildings require low voltage inputs. The advantage of high voltage is that it can be used to transport energy in large quantities by a single wire. So it works like uh, in real life, of course. You have um, high voltage cables and high voltage uh, switches for those cables. And you have medium voltage and wires and medium voltage switches for smaller voltage. And obviously, when you transport electricity in higher distance, higher distances, oh my god, longer distances, then you will have, uh, you use the high voltage wires. Or for example, when you need to import a bunch of electricity from your um, customs house or export. And you are going to use the conversion buildings here to convert, let's say, from the input which is high voltage to a medium voltage so that you can then deliver it to the buildings locally. So we have... Oh, we have a foreign power connection here. Nice, interesting. Power transformer. The power transformer has one large input. It could, could be an output as well, I guess, but it doesn't make much sense to me to be an output. Build power lines. So we're going to use an M8 megawatts line from, ah, from the plant to the switch and then from the switch to the transformer. Lenin would be proud. So now we're going to be delivering high voltage power from the plant through this switch, which is basically just like a station which can spread your electricity. And then in the transformer, we will be able to deliver the high voltage and we can take medium uh, voltage cables to deliver to the buildings around here. We will place a substation right next to the building so that we can deliver electricity to them. You're doing great, comrade! Build a substation near a city. Near a city? Ah, there is more cities here. Boom. You're doing great, comrade. Connect the substation to the power transformer. Boom. And now these buildings are going to have power. Good job. Connect the substation to the power transformer. So now we're going to connect the other one as well. And now everyone will be electrified. There you go. Voltage. And that's it, basically. I mean, it's a little bit more complicated uh, when you have a bigger system. But the basics are pretty much that. You, you have multiple inputs here. Sorry, in this case, outputs uh, from the power plant. So you can connect to multiple outputs if you need to. Let's see how much do we get here. So we have 0.1 megawatts, which makes complete sense because we have connected just a few buildings around here. Build a road gas station. So we are moving to the next topic. You need it so the road vehicles will be able to refuel. Boom. Excellent. Lenin would be proud. Build a trolleybus truffle to bring power to the trolleybus network. Tram truffle. Trolleybus truffle. Nice, nice. Uh, here. Oh, so cool. Now we will have to connect it to the transformer, probably. Yeah. So from the transformer, we take medium wires again and we connect it to the trolleybus, connect to the trolleybus system here. And that supplies electricity pretty much to everyone that is connected to the system. Build a railroad electric connection. Ah, that's another thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to, like, your electric trams obviously need electricity and you will have to connect them as well with one of these stations. Good job. 
And there we go, now we have a connection here. Are we going to have on the other side as well? No, first we will connect by wires to the transformer. Not this one? Okay, I actually managed to fix it. It was very weird. I had to demolish first these wires here. I don't know what happened, but maybe it was a bug in the tutorial or I did something wrong. I don't know. No. Anyway, build a train diesel station. So for the diesel trains, you need to provide fuel. For the electric uh, electrical trains, you need to provide electricity. Excellent. Lenin would be proud. Good work, comrade. What are we going to do about this train? It's going to go to the station without any fuel on board? Build a sub... Ah, we also need electricity for the station if it's going to work because without having electricity, you cannot pump the fuel. You are doing great. Good work. Now we have the wattage here. Yep. Ah, and now it's going, you see? It doesn't have fuel, but it's going to go. It, they made it so cool, uh, so that you don't have to save trains without fuel <laughs> in random places. <laughs> Connect the switch to the foreign power connections. The angles of your power lines cannot be too sharp. Sometimes you will have to build the power lines in multiple pieces to change their path. Excellent, Lenin would be proud. And now what? Uh huh. Good work, comrade. Now we're going to click here and we're going to export. Set the foreign power connection to export mode. When you. When your power plants generate too much electricity, you can sell it to neighboring countries. And make money! Don't use this now, okay? <laughs> I, I pressed it too many times. <laughs> that's all for this tutorial. Well, yeah, that's very basic, but pretty much it is, yes. Like how you're going to make the calculations for how much electricity to produce and to bring to places. That's another story. And also building all of this with uh, resources is also a different story. But we will check this in the campaign. Alright. I think this is one of the essential mechanics for the game. And I would love to hear your thoughts of how it's handled. So don't hesitate to use the comment section. As usual, don't forget to drop the video a like. And click that subscribe button. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.